Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and today I woke up with my knee hurting for absolutely no reason under the sun. That is what's bad about being, crossing 40. Once you cross 40, things hurt that aren't supposed to hurt and hurt for no reason at all. That is what you call getting old. Now, I'm 45 now. I'm not too old yet, but uh, I do have things that just keep hurting or hurt intermittently. I guess that's the right word for it. Um, and then other news with with myself, uh, today is my six-year-old's first ever all-star game in baseball, and he will be, uh, I don't know where he'll be playing in the lineup. Uh, he's the youngest kid on the team, so um, he, he's not quite as strong as some of the older kids, but he's playing up because he, and I, and I taught him the lesson the other day, I don't know why my mouse is acting crazy. Look at that. For some reason, the mouse is, let's see if I can make it stop. I don't know why. The, all right, I'm going to pull that out of view so that you don't have to look at it and it'll drive you crazy. Um, but anyway, so my son is playing up and so he'll be playing in his first all-star game to get today. Enough of that. The first thing I want to show you is from C3 Nick. And what C3 Nick has got here is uh, every, my understanding of this, um, it, SBI, SBI Holdings, remember, I always reiterate this because there's many new people that, that have not heard this before. SBI Holdings in 2016 bought 10.5% of Ripple, the company. Okay, so I, I'm assuming that that also means they own 10.5% of the XRP that's held by Ripple, the company. And so I've always said that I consider SBI Holdings to be the ace in the hole for XRP holders because SBI Holdings is a bank holding company and they've formed a bank consortium which, which controls a very large portion of the, um, which controls a very large portion of the banks over in Japan, like 80% of them. And so that 80% of the banks is called the, is the Japanese bank consortium is what they call it. So, Every, um, I believe it's every quarter, the SBI puts out all of these slides when they do like a quarterly report. That's how I understand it. And so people, these slides leak out and then we get to cover them. So C3 Nick put this out. C3 underscore Nick, definite follow in the XRP community. SBI R3 Ripple solution, high potential to become a global standard for financial operations such as international money transfers and trade finance. Um, this is collaboration with Ripple and R3, um, R resolving the R3 Ripple legal dispute, which happened way back when. Settlement announced between R3 and Ripple, R3 Ripple solution, solution high potential. That's what he quoted up here uh, in red down here. So then um, after I saw this tweet, what is going on with my mouse? After I saw this tweet, I saw this one from XRP uh, Research Center. At XRP Center, SBI Thread. One, the latest SBI group presentation was published on June 3rd, 2019. You can find the document in the following link. And he's got this link. I found some updates uh, on SBI VC, Money Tap, and Ripple Partnership. Very interesting. So I decided to make this thread. Um, SBI intends to leverage synergies between business lines to remove friction associated with crypto. Crypto derivative investment developed by SBI VC and SBI FX Trade. Crypto investments with T-Point program to which Money Tap is introduced with particip participant shops. And he's got all of these slides in here. Three, um, SBI states that cryptocurrencies are moving from speculation from a speculation-centered approach to a stage in which actual demand and practicality is pursued. And um, they've got. This slide changes in the market cap of crypto assets. Um, and then he's got this. SBI official confirms the full exchange, and this is news right here. The full exchange service is delayed until July 2019. 
due to new regulation compliance parameters and the introduction of new private clouds for enhanced security. Law amendments expected by June 2019. A delay could also a, a delay could also delay SBI BC exchange service. Um, let's see what he's got next. And then five updates on MoneyTap. MoneyTap co-created 13 banks completed investment by March, and most importantly, uh, MoneyTap Co. will consider accepting investment from Ripple to strengthen technical cooperation and promotion of incentives uh, related to international remittances. And then they've got Ripple down here. Um, and then MoneyTap is compared with what appears to be a bank coin platform in order to show its superiority promotion of MoneyTap. Uh, merchant payment service starting in 2019. It has a lot of advantages as compared to credit card networks. Um, revisions to crypto asset related laws are expected by June 2019. Would provide regulatory framework for STOs. Increased use and liquidity improvement of crypto and crypto derivatives expected. Um, so what a great Twitter feed right there. from X Go give X at XRP Center a follow. I love these kind of Twitter um, feeds where they do one, two, three, four, five, because it makes my job so easy. Remember, all I'm trying to do is find my, the way I see my job here is my job and, and I make mistakes. Folks, I made one this week. Sometimes I put, uh, I'll put a piece of news that is not news at all out there. And, and um, it's actually some stupid rumor that, that, that is not correct. And that's, you know, I'm human. It's going to happen. But the way I see my function here, I want to go out and find the best news on digital assets and XRP, and I want to find it from some of the smartest people I can find, and then I want to give those people the credit for having found it from them and not just show you the news, because a lot of these people out there on Twitter and other places, they work very hard to put these things together, and so they deserve to get followers and, and get some of the benefits of having their hard work shown. Um, and so, next, if I can get this mouse to quit acting crazy, I'm going to have to restart this computer. Um, next, this, this was also from C3 Nick. In case you missed it, Morgan Stanley calls crypto, uh, and I think this is old, but I, I want to say I showed this before, uh, yeah, October 2018, but it's still worth showing again. Many of you weren't here when we showed this. Morgan Stanley calls crypto a new institutional investment class in a report published in October 2018. From scam to new institutional investment class. Now, if you look at this chart, this is from Morgan Stanley. Look at back 2009, 2009 digital cash, cash, untraceable but full confidence. Um, incumbent financial uh, system antidote. Replacement payment system. Um, anyway, but if you at 2009, the main thing to look at there is untraceable because that's what they wanted to they wanted to talk about digital assets in in the context of being oh it's for money laundering it's crypto is bad and all of this and those of us that were holding even as as um back back in 2013 you really didn't know if today was the day that, that the the government was going to make it illegal and in fact Bob Way from Ripple. Back then, he said that back then when they, there was just a few employees, they didn't know if to, today was the day that the doors were going to get kicked in at Ripple by the feds. That's what this was like back then. And so it's important. It's interesting to take a look back. But the important, the most important thing on this slide is this at the bottom, new institutional investment class. And you mark my words, they're not just going to call this a new institutional investment class. It's just going to be new investment class because after they get done parking their rich institutions and wealthy people in crypto, then they're going to turn to the retail and all of these, uh, the retail brokers uh, will, will begin selling crypto to the retail investors. And that's when the real money is going to be made, I believe, or a lot of the real money <coughs> um, for the wealthy, that is. Okay, let me get rid of this. Hopefully, my uh, mouse does not have the shakes any longer. Um, I, I, I saw this from Mr. B at, at XRP, Mr., who's a, also a definite follow in the community. I see other TA guys calling for similar results. Let's see how things play out and if their assessments are accurate. Love for Crypto, who's also a follow in the community, at, um, at Love for Crypto 17, says his past calls have been spot on. Now, 
every time I show you one of these guys, I like to give you the caveat. I do not, I'm not a chart guy, but I like to show you when, especially when it's vouched for by some of the people in the community that I know are smart, um, or, and maybe vouch is the wrong word. They're, they're kind of saying the same thing. Look, this guy in the past has done well. That doesn't mean now. Um, but this guy's name's Peter Zacharias. Um, XRP, a pretty much same perfect bullish as F reversal candlestick pattern just formed on the daily chart as it has the monthly chart for a, a few days ago, confirming the uptrend RSI stochastic. I think that's how you say that. And GC confirm looking super bullish. Now five bucks. We are coming for you. Okay. That's his words, not mine. Um, and that was from uh, yesterday that he put this up. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family to check out those SBI slides because SBI is very important to Ripple's future and XRP's future, in my opinion. Thank you for listening.